Holderness Coastline for Edexcel GCSE 9 to 1 Geography and a, a case study. OK, so the location, the Holderness Coastline, is in the north of England, running between the Humber Estuary of the south and a headland at Flamborough Head. OK, so you've got the map here. So you can see it's in the north of England here. OK, you've got the map of the coastline here. So it's many different towns upon it, Flamborough, Burlington, Hornsey, Mappleton, Withensea and Easington. And you've got Spurnhead at the bottom, which if you've watched my spit video is the named example for that. OK. The geology. The main rock on the coastline is composed of boulder clay. OK, so boulder clay was deposited after the Ice Age. So the glaciers melted with the material they picked up off the seabed. It's very soft rock, so it's, it's very susceptible to erosion. And the coastline has eroded at around four kilometres inland since uh, Roman times and retreats about one to two metres a year, which is a really fast uh, erosion rate. It's one of the fastest eroding coastlines in Europe. So the physical effects. The uh, Why is it eroding so fast? Obviously, there's the geology of the coastline. That's why it's eroding so fast. But there's also a spit in Flamborough Head, down, uh, a spurn head down here. OK, it's hydraulic action occurring all along the coastline, which makes the uh, cliff uh, retreat. You've got cliff retreat occurring and freeze thaw weathering. Human effects on the uh, Holderness coastline. Tourism, settlements, industry and road building which are expanding and global warming leading to higher sea levels and storm surges, which are uh, waves which people can't expect, and it's huge waves coming and attacking the coastline. So the human effects, the coastal defences, okay, due to the weak geology, defences have been put in place in order to try and slow down the erosion of the coastline. However, by putting coastal defences in one location has a negative impact on another location. This means that the local council must decide where the most important places are to put defences. Places like Mappleton, Withensea and Hornsea have been protected due to their large tourism industry and large settlements. Easington have been, uh, has been protected due to the North Sea gas plant, which brings a lot of income into the local area. However, other places like Grimstone Garth have not been protected, as the only settlement there is a single farm. Mapperton has been protected by groins and riprap. This has caused less sediment to reach settlements further down south. It's created much debate. So places like Grimston Garth have not been protected because Mapperton has put a groin there, which has meant that sediment has not been able to get to Grimston Garth, and that has lost its natural protection that it would usually have. So we've got here an example question. Explain the factors that have caused one named coastal landscapes change with eight marks. So I've written a example answer. Along the Holderness coastline to the north of Hull, there are two groups that have affected the co coastal landscape's change. The first is physical processes. So here you can tell that I know where the place is. Okay, I've put that here to the north of Hull. Okay, and I've started to answer the question. Because of the soft boulder clay that the cliffs are composed of, the coastline is susceptible to weathering and erosion. OK, so I'm making sure that I make a bold statement to show the examiner what I'm going to tell them about. OK, in the joints, freeze thaw weathering regularly occurs. This makes the joints larger and it's easier for hydraulic action to occur. Global warming leads to rising tides and more storm surges. These two factors both increase the rate of cliff retreat, which then leads to more cliff collapse. This adds sediment to the longshore drift, which increases the size of spit of the spit and any location with groins. However, the River Humber will take a lot of sediment out of the system. The second effect are human factors. The way in which people have affected the coastline is, is through coastal management. This slows down erosion in some places like Mappleton, where there are groins, but increases cliff retreat further south of Mappleton as there is little set of, set of, uh, sediment being deposited and so little defence from the erosion. This is probably worth about six or seven, maybe even eight marks. OK, we've covered 
many different uh, bases. We've talked about human factors and physical factors. So we've linked them both together. OK, we've talked about the geology. We've talked about the placement, we've talked about the human factors and coastal management. We've talked about uh, the human factors in people disagreeing and talking about why coastal uh, defences have been put in certain places.